measure out the size for the separate reserve. school behind? Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to see it when the church is built? Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't think so. Anyway, do you know what we're here for today? Yeah. Yeah. You tell me. Yeah. To lay the foundation stone yeah. and to bless the site of the church, the new church, because there, there was a church over there. Do you remember it? Yeah. And Father Neelan knocked it down. Yeah. That your name may be made holy through all the earth. Bless everybody who has worked or has helped to provide this site on which we're going to build a church. And perhaps you'll help to build the church. Because you are the real church. <laughs> Baptism. <laughs> As a stone wondrously hewn from a mountain, I ask you to bless this foundation stone, which is to be laid in Christ's name. You appointed him the beginning and end of all things. May this work begin, continue, and be brought to fulfillment in him, for he is Lord forever and ever. Oh. This. So I'm going to stick it in my pocket. All right? I think we're going to sing the hymn on the blue sheet. Oh, I see. That way. Right. Right. <laughs> oh, 
we got your level on it, Richard. We've got some special prayers now. Dedicated to your worship. Look favourably upon us, your children, for we have come with joy to begin work and complete work on this new church. Enable everybody to grow into the temple of your glory until shaped anew by your grace, they are gathered by your hand into your heavenly city. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And now before we finish, I just want to say a word of, or two of thanks. And first of all, thanks to Father Neelan and all the parishioners here for their tremendous faith in getting this project underway because if it hadn't been for Father Neelan pushing like mad and um, in, and being very encouraging if, if it hadn't been for the generosity of the parishioners here uh, this we'd, we'd never have got as far as this so first of all a very very big thank you to all of them and then a thank you to the people with the, the vision and the, half the people, but never mind, the contractors, uh, the surveyors, the, um, uh, the people, the quantity surveyors, the builders themselves, uh, the fellow who's, um, uh, the, the, the plant manager, who's the local gardener actually, that's why he's called a plant, the contractors, there are three of everybody, uh, so far as I can make out, um, which, is, which, is, which is right, it means that everybody's watching everybody else's back. Uh, to make sure that nothing goes wrong. And there are six builders over there. Thank you very much for all you're doing. I hope you enjoy the actual building. And uh, uh, I look forward very much to August the 23rd, uh, when it's going to be finished. Provided God is good and the weather's good, because um, it does depend quite a lot on the weather until you get the roof on. Is there anybody else to thank? enjoyed it. Let's give ourselves a clap. Thank you.
be with all of you in this holy church. And also with you. It's wonderful to be here. <coughs> I remember the, the day, uh, I can't remember how long ago it was, six months, four months ago, when the foundation stone was laid. <coughs> and it all looked very empty, but full of promise. Uh, walls were up, and the roof was on, and the ground was, was pretty, pretty rocky, and it was probably raining out. Oh, it wasn't, it was a nice, it was a nice day, as I remember. Uh, and that was after three years of promise. So the first thing I want to say to all of you is <coughs> really very warm congratulations. You've worked very hard for this in all sorts of ways. And this church is a, a sign of your faith, your confidence, your real hope in the future and the fact that you are already the body of Christ, a community gathered together. You must be proud of this. Thank you to, I'd like to single out especially, your parish priest, but the architects, contractors, builders, fellow who's already even now holding the, uh, uh, the video recorder, uh, and to everybody who's had a hand <coughs> in, this, in coming to this occasion. A welcome to everybody here, a welcome to those of you from other Christian churches, it's lovely to see you here, to the priests from the locality, and of course, basically, uh, fundamentally, to you, the parish. We're here to pray. And before we do so, I ask the architect whether he will present uh, the plans to me. Well, my Lord, um, we did rather a lot of plans for this building, and I wouldn't burden you with them all, so I will, as a token, give you the ground floor plan and the furniture layout. Thank you very much. Which you'll be able to understand. <laughs> Actually, that, that would probably be the only part I could understand. So it's a nice easy drawing. And could I formally, on behalf of Father Neelan and the parishioners of St. Philip's, present you with the keys to the church. Thank you very much. Hello. And on behalf of the architects, the other professionals and the contractors, we would say thank you very much for the honour and the privilege to work for the Diocese of Father Neil and who's been such a wonderful client. And this is a small memento for yourself, Thank you very, very much. to take in. I want to just 
focus on three words which were in the gospel, repeated twice. And the words were simply, come and see. I hope that people will come to this church, that they will come and see. And what they come in order to see is first, first of all, is Jesus Christ. This is, in a very real way, it is his home, here in Middleton, under the patronage of St. Philip. This is his home. And it's here, please God, that people will come and somehow discover the presence of Jesus, their Lord and Master, in their lives. And then I hope, I know, that people will come and see the people of God. You, the parish. And will see you as the living stones of this church. Of which the cornerstone is Christ. A people who are able confidently to build their lives on Jesus Christ and on faith in him listening to his word. Come and see. I hope that many will come and see who are not of our faith, but will nonetheless be able to find in this building the kind of peace and harmony that is the beginning of prayer. And you will come and see your own your own faith, as it were, lived out. You will come to worship. And in your worship together, you will come and see where God is in your life and how he moves you and what you can offer to him, what you can learn from him. You will come and see the, as they are in line here, the lectern where the word of God is proclaimed <coughs> the font where you were baptised and your children will be baptised in the future and the altar where you celebrate the Eucharist when you come you will come here for those marvellous moments of life to celebrate these key moments and to mark them the moment of birth marked and celebrated in baptism, the new birth that all of us have enjoyed and are slowly discovering as we grow older. The new life that comes from reconciliation, from the sacrament of reconciliation, they will be celebrating too, wherever they are. And it's, it's a focus too for those who will come after you. And as the years go by, these not just these walls, but this parish is made more holy by your life, by your lives, as people determined to try to live as God's people. To those of you who are younger, now anoint this altar and this building. May God in his power make them holy, visible signs of the mystery of Christ and of his church.
Lord, may our prayer ascend as incense in your sight. As this building is filled with fragrance, so may your church fill the world with the fragrance of Christ.
God the Father wills that all his children scattered through the world become one family in his Son. May he make you his temple, the dwelling place of his Holy Spirit. Amen. May God free you from every bond of sin, dwell within you and give you joy. May you live with him forever in the company of all his saints. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It's in law.